Here we are again. Storm last night, all night long, and it washed my driveway out again. All my driveway is there. So I've got to shovel all that back out, fill all this back in again, all the way up through there, so the neighbors over there can go up and down the driveway. I mean, I got a pickup, I don't have to worry about it, but the Camaro is not going out that without dragging. And my trailer is busted. So uh, I guess we're gonna fix my trailer. And after I get done rebuilding the bottom end of my trailer, we'll shovel gravel the rest of the afternoon so uh i guess let's get started on fixing the trailer okay well first things first i've got to remove this old axle that's bent in here it's all bent up so So what I've done here is uh, these little clamps that were bolted together around the old axle. I went and cut them off after I removed the old axle. And then I put the 5 8 rod in there and hammered it down so that these old ones will clamp around it. five more hours worth of work or so okay now that I got my uh, two lower mounts I'm gonna go ahead and tack weld those into place
I can measure from here down and put me two pieces of angle iron, but I'm going to slot the top so I can weld the axle to it. It's going to widen my wheelbase for that. But these are the wheels that I'm going to use. They were like $16, $17. Harbor Freight, they handle 450 pounds. And I'll slide these up on the axle. Weld me a washer back here so they won't go closer in. And then I'll pin them out here so they won't move. But I got four angle braces to cut and notch to weld in here. And then I'll drill these plates that I just tack welded on. I'll drill those and bolt those to uh, the, the trailer bed. And after I get those bolted to the trailer bed, then I can go ahead and weld these uh, these add-on support plates in and make it a lot more solid. And I'm sorry, I know I'm not using welding gloves, guys, but my welding gloves got soaked. As you can see, the front half of the shop flooded. But it's not too bad, but my welding gloves were laying on the floor. And they're wet, and I don't want to get shocked. So these are leather-palmed with cotton backing, cotton nylon blend. So they will melt, but they're not gonna catch on fire. <sighs> but, you know, you gotta use what you gotta use. Okay, well, I got all my uh, braces cut. I got my axle put in, spacers put back in there. And now all I need to do is weld these to the axle, weld the axle in, and uh, weld my cross braces in. Uh, and I should be okay. So let's get that going. Uh, ow. Boy, it's making me miss my wet leather gloves. I'm just spot welding everything for right now and I'll go back and weld it pretty solid when I'm done. Mopping it all up. Anyway, welcome to my day off. It rains, and I got work to do.
I didn't quite get that one tacked down right. Left it while that well tight. Well tight. I can still move that metal. That's one of the new wheels I'm going to put on there, but I'm going to flip this up on its side so I can get a better angle at this weld here. It was kind of a blind weld that I attempted and it didn't work. I can get up in there now. some holes to drill on this angle iron that hits the bed of this because this is really thin sheet metal so I'm going to bolt those down and then after I get them bolted down I'm going to mock up my wheels put my backspace washers in there so they don't come up against the box of this so I'm going to come back Bolt the, put a washer behind here and tack weld that washer all the way around. Or put about four good tacks on that washer. And that'll keep my wheels from getting up into the new framework. And then once I get that done, I can set a washer on the outside, mark it, cut the rod, put a pin in it, do the other side, and then take the wheels back off and weld this in solid. And our trailer will be fixed. Again. And hopefully she'll last longer this time. Huh. Anyway, guys, welcome to my life. This is my day off. Yay. We'll see y'all again in the holler, and uh, stay tuned for more uh, all kinds of weird stuff. We'll see y'all.